It's Joe, and I have a challenge for you the next time you go on a night out. I challenge you to get there early, right? What we call happy hour. The kind of time where people, there's people in the bar, but they're not going crazy, right? They're just standing around talking. I don't know whether they should call it awkward hour, right? Because people aren't really like feeling like loose yet. My challenge is for you to go there during happy hour slash awkward hour and to be the most social person in that environment. For sure, back when I was gaming in London, like all the pickup guys, they would get to like Tiger Tiger, Piccadilly Institute, uh, before like it costs money to get in, because entrance fees in London are kind of big. Um, yes, good times, and they will always be like the most social people, doing their warm up approaches. And this is good for a lot of reasons actually. Uh, the first one is social momentum right definitely if you're someone who struggles with approach anxiety or is just new to talking to people cold approaching and when you're sober all right social momentum is amazing all right what basically the concept of this is that if you just like keep approaching people like again and again and again and it doesn't need to be like a long interaction it doesn't need to be like crazy or wacky or charismatic all right you can just be go up to people tell them to have a good night to start off with right cheers all right i love this song rihanna is my favorite something like this all right and then by doing this again and again and again what happens it, it like reinforces in your brain that like nothing bad is gonna happen approaching people isn't so terrible all right and like as the night goes on you can build those approaches up and up and up more and more intent more and more staying in set for a longer time more and more gregarious okay and this is important i'm telling you like <laughs> i mean anyone who's been on the night out can probably testify to this like as the night gets crazier like midnight 1 a.m 2 a.m all right people go mental on the dance floor it's crowded you get knocked around if you're still stifled in that moment you ain't gonna do fuck all or you ain't gonna do as well as you could in the club for sure okay if you're still feeling a little bit awkward during when like it's like basically it's like surfing like you need to ride the waves okay so if you build social momentum you can you can handle that and you're already in, in your flow state and you can handle the club when you know, it gets a bit crazy. Another good reason to get there early and be social is you can build social proof, all right? Man, this happens so many times, so many times. Like, you do your early approaches and people aren't really that receptive, but you ain't staying that long anyway, right? But then they come along, like, later in the night and they're like, hey, it's that guy, it's that fucking guy, it's that... <laughs> So basically what happened is they kind of like, they appreciated you speaking to them early on in the night, but they kind of weren't like drunk enough to like accept that. And then they come back to you later with a few drinks in them and they're like, hey, it's that guy, okay? Maybe the girls in the set, they even attracted to you because you were like that fun, confident guy early on in the night, all right? But either way, it's good to have social proof in the club. I'm not gonna go into detail about why, that's pretty obvious, I guess but it's just a good thing, okay? Finally, the early fucking hours in the club, 9, 10, 11 o'clock. These are great times to be like, just building like contacts. Like back in 2008, I would say phone numbers, but we're talking about Instagram now, right? Um, just quick interactions, uh, grab their Instagram. You can film cool little stories with them to build your social proof on Instagram, okay? And then, even if you don't see these girls later on in the night, if you have like a strong Instagram profile, like there's no reason that they won't hit you up or you can hit them up, like, and you can, you can make something of that, like of a date, just from a five, 10 minute interaction during awkward hour. Please try it out, comment below, let me know if you think this is bullshit. Do you get to the club early? Uh, what do you do? Uh, I, I'm posting like examples of like stupid little stories with girls on my Instagram all the time. Uh, also download our free ebook, How to Meet Women Anywhere. And I'll speak to you real soon.